Today I have the Coleman 100cc Realtree mini bike. I had a couple of requests on how to get it started. Some people were having trouble with it not starting. So we're just going to go through a couple of things to troubleshoot it, see if we can get yours started. All right, so the first thing we want to do, obviously, is make sure that the switch is in non position. And then the second thing is uh, this cable down here. You want to make sure that that is plugged in and it's grounded. Uh, this side's grounded. Make sure that the cables are good. They're not torn. My son, uh, if he'll hit a branch or anything like that, it comes disconnected. And so just make sure that you have that pushed in. It's nice and tight. Uh, the third thing is going to be the spark plug. So just make sure that your spark plug uh, is good. So we're going to pull that out today and uh, see what ours looks like. So the mini bike did come with some tools. I'm just going to use those just because they were handy. And uh, so we'll have the one that didn't come with it, obviously, is this. It's a spark plug, um, the spacer. And so we are going to test it out and make sure our space is good. Now, this is a 19 millimeter. Uh, if you have a 19 millimeter ratchet, you can use that. Uh, so we'll just use what it came with. And uh, first pull this rubber plug off to the spark plug. And then this on there. All right, so we're going to put the spacer on there. The manual calls between, I think it's 28 to 32. So you'll just put that on there, start at the low setting, and slide forward. And so that's, uh, mine's around 30, which is good. So between the 28 and 30, which is what it calls for. But uh, the next thing that you can um, do is clean it. You can clean it with gas or uh, brake cleaner or starter fluid, any type of stuff that you have laying around that can clean it uh, and then just wipe it down uh, the other thing is you can get sandpaper and rough it up between there get any type of grime that's on there uh, to get it off and then uh, the other thing you want to do and just be careful you can shock yourself with doing this you'll put this in here and make sure that the switch is in the on position and then uh, you'll want to put it close to metal make sure your hands are around the rubber so you don't shock yourself and then you're just going to pull make sure you get a spark so this spark plugs good um, if you were to turn the switch off and try to do that same thing you're not going to get a spark so just make sure you have that switch on when you do it and, uh, and that way you can see if it is a good spark plug well, so this is all good. I don't really need to clean it. It seems pretty good. Haven't had any trouble with it. And uh, we'll screw that back in. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And um, if you don't mind, like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Alright, y'all. Have a great day.